One of the things I wanted to show you this week is just how much stuff you can make with only a glue gun. So what I thought I'd do is a little challenge where all I use is the glue gun and some spray paint. So I'm going to be using my face cast and I'm going to outline the basic shape that I want. And I'm going to be using a glue gun on a very hot setting because like I mentioned in my glue gun review, the hotter the setting of the glue gun is, the flatter it's going to go. So for the basic shape of the mask, we need this glue to get as flat as possible. So by outlining it, it means you stop it from kind of dribbling where you don't want it to go. So outline it first, wait for that to dry, and then fill in the inside. Once that's done, I'm going to outline it all over again. Once I've outlined the masquerade mask with the glue gun on the hot setting, I'm going to be switching to a different glue gun which has a thinner nozzle and it's also on a lower heat setting. So it's not going to flatten out so much and I can do something a little bit more intricate. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm also going to cut out the edges which might have gone into a shape that I didn't want. I'll finish off adding whatever kind of swirls or filigree patterns I want to the mask. Once everything's dried, I'm going to peel it off the face cast. Once it's peeled off, you might notice a few things that you missed while it was still on the face cast. So you want to neaten up those edges. You can either use a craft knife or you can use a pair of scissors, but just try and make sure that those scissors are very, very sharp. Otherwise you're going to end up with ragged edges. Once that's been neatened up, I'm going to spray paint it and I'm going to be using two different colors for this. I'm going to be using a black on one side and then I'm going to be using a silver on the other. Now with the black, you might need to layer it a few times unless you've got a really good spray paint. I'm going to crisscross it a little bit in the middle so you get a nice gradient. On the black side of the mask, we're going to be using a glitter. So you just want to sprinkle that over and then tap it over the plate just so that it's only going to settle in all the bits which aren't the filigree. And then on the opposite side, I'm going to be using a gold nail varnish to go over that filigree pattern. So we're going to be highlighting different sides of the mask. One is going to highlight all the low bits and then one's going to highlight all the high bits. So cover all that filigree with the nail varnish. Where we've already put the glitter, we're going to be using a black nail varnish and you're going to cover that filigree pattern that we did. You're going to cover the filigree and then also the outside of the mask to make it stand out a little bit more. I'm going to finish off with a clear varnish, wait for that to dry, and then that's it, you're done!